everybody. Welcome back to Art History. Um, this previous week, we talked about Mary Cassatt. Cassatt, good. And Mary Cassatt was famous for painting pictures of, do you remember? Families. Mamas and their children. And so you made your very own paintings with pictures of your family as inspiration. We also read the book, Mary Cassatt, Extraordinary Impressionist Painter. And we talked a little bit about Edgar Degas because he was friends with Mary. Now we're gonna move on to studying Edgar Degas. So this is a cartoony picture of him. And you can see his lapel is a dancer's foot. And that's because he is famous for painting dancers, primarily ballerinas. So here are a couple pieces of his work. All dancers, you can see that he liked painting how their bodies would contort into different angles because that wasn't traditional for regular people. Now, <clears throat> in all of these pictures, you can see, if I put them up real close, that it looks kinda blurry, right? And we've talked about this before. We've talked about this with Claude Monet, and we talked about it with Mary Cassatt, and now we're talking about it again with Edgar Degas. But this is a specific type of art called Impressionism. Can you say that with me? Impressionism. And Impressionism, when we talked about it, we talked about raindrops or playing the piano. Do you remember that? We talked about moving our fingers really fast. Because in Impressionism, it's very quick, fast strokes while you're painting. Often it's done outdoors, which is what we saw in the world of Claude Monet. But you can see for Mary Cassatt and Edgar Degas, they took that and moved it in a different direction and they started doing people. So I do have a book <clears throat> about Edgar Degas called the Little Dancer, and it's a children's book inspired by the artworks of Edgar Degas. Now this book is very long. There's a lot of text in here. Now the paintings are beautiful, so I wanna go through that, but we're only gonna read a little bit of this. We're not gonna read a ton, okay? And we can read maybe the second half next week, but I wanna break it up a little just cause it's so dense. So with her hair flowing in the wind, Jean is spellbound by Paris. She gazes at the Pont de Flandre lock and the St. Martin Canal and the carriage rumbling along the cobblestones. The towers of Notre Dame appear in the distance and beyond them, the Grand Boulevard. What a world, what bustle. Suddenly, Clemence grabs her, her daughter's hand. Jean, look, she exclaims. In front of them stand golden wings glistening in the sun. It's the opera. They have arrived. For as long as she can remember, Jean has dreamed about dance and music. White, black, white, black, white, white, black. Even as a little girl, she could mimic the keys of an imaginary piano on a piece of paper, her fingers bouncing from note to note. As she grew older, Jean would practice on a giant chalk-drawn keyboard in the yard where she would whirl about singing, Do, Re, Mi, the partridge flies away. Fly away, my dove, her mother said to her. I take great pleasure just seeing you dance. I do not dance. I play the piano, says Jean. My little one has a special talent. She needs to pursue her dreams, thought Clemence. And that is why they are here in Paris. Jean is taking the entrance test for the ballet corps of the opera. So you can see Jean is, she's dancing along this chalk-drawn piano. 
here. And she's not dancing. She says she's playing the piano. She's just doing it with her whole body. Lamont's paces up and down outside the rehearsal room. Will her daughter be accepted? The exam is very difficult. Inside the room, Jean skips lightly on the floorboards, which look a lot like the keyboard of a piano. The wait that follows seems endless. Yet when the results are announced, both mother and daughter are filled with joy. Success! She has done it! A new life begins, a place to live, a tiny apartment, a job in the laundry house for Clemence and the opera for Jean. The days are not easy, however. Dance classes, rehearsals, performances. From morning to evening, she performs her exhausting workouts with the other little brats of the ballet corps. None of the girls ever evade the eyes of Mademoiselle Diha, who sits at the piano and puts them through their paces. The two francs earned each day, those are, that's money in France, francs. Two plus two plus two, what does that equal? Two with two more and then another two. How much is that all together? One, two, three, four, five, six. And at night, Jean dreams of a piano that dances. Her feet are bruised, her legs are painful, but despite everything, she never loses sight of her goal. And this is well, we'll take a break and that's about halfway through the book, so we will finish the other half next week. And before we finish, I wanna go through our flashcards again. All right, so are you ready? Do you feel ready? Let's get our brains ready. Think, 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 think. Good job. All right. What is that one? Glue, you're right, a glue bottle and stick. Excellent. And what about that one? Oh, crayon. You're just getting so good at these. A pencil. Excellent. What about this? They're painting, but what are you when you paint? And our artist, good, we use this outside. Chalk, chalk, kind of like Play-Doh. Clay, excellent, we put all of our artwork in here. We would put all of our artwork in one place and when we do that, it's called a portfolio, portfolio. A statue, but also a skull. Sculpture, excellent. Oh, spray paint, what do we do? Shake it up, and then spray it. Good. Beads, excellent. We cut these up, our parents get them at home. Magazines, excellent, and that one. A fabric, but what's the special art word for fabric? Text. Text, textile. Oh, they're like a crayon and chalk mixed. They're called pa pastels. Good. Pen and ink. And e e. Easel, rhymes with weasel, easel. A paint pa palette, excellent. Oh, paint brush, man, you're getting good. Paint in a bucket, a bucket of paint. A marker, we use those a lot in art. All right, here's a tricky one. A color wheel a color wheel and when we talk about the first three colors red yellow and blue those are called primary excellent and when we mix primary together we get a new set of colors and those are secondary and when we mix primary and secondary together we get even more colors and those are called ter tertiary great work 
All right, friends. So next week we will pick up with our book about Edgar Degas and we'll continue to talk about impressionism. Say it with me, impressionism, good. And then we will make another impressionist painting of our own. All right, I'll see you next week. Bye, everybody.